Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today we are taking another look on Ultra Sight Laser Rifle. And that's because it was buffed with the recent update. So I was testing. Before we start, I would like to send my thanks to our channel sponsor G Fuel for providing me with real life action point boosters. And as well on the screen, you can see this month's sales. With code TURTLE, all those items 30% off. Links down below. Now what the buff was about. This weapon, Ultra Sight Laser Rifle, was in the game for a long time. It's a little bit different variation of the laser rifle. The biggest issue with it was very low damage. That was doing very low damage and there was like no way to use it efficiently or at all outperform regular laser rifle that mainly, as you can see, it's the same model, it's slightly different color. Slightly different color if we are talking about reg regular laser rifle. I was running a lot with both in order to test its performance with different modifications, find a strong side of this weapon, compare one and the other. In the past, it was obvious choice that laser rifle is more powerful than ultra sight laser rifle, which had no sense whatsoever. Like that's not what it should be. Ultra sight by definition is more advanced version. So why is more advanced version weaker? I mean, Probably someone who developed more advanced version was really bad at it. That's one explanation. Now, it's a little bit different today. As you can see, laser rifle is still providing with higher damage per shot, but ultra sight laser rifle does offer higher fire rate. In the same time, there are a little bit different mods for the ultra sight and regular laser rifle. If we go into the weapon workbench and we try to modify, Ultra Sight Laser Rifle has 35 possible mods. There are basically all capacitors, as you would expect, all barrels, all stocks, but the sights are limited to three choices. The most important one, reflex sight, is there. So that's a good news. The lenses, are possible too. Beam splitter used to be very interesting ones. It doesn't seem to offer as much advantage anymore as it was in the past. A standardizer do not stack with itself to achieve maximum, which is 40%. You would need four people shooting at one target. So not possible with one weapon. That used to be the case. They cannot be explosive anymore. There is no legacy weapons of the sort. So the advantage of splitter seems to be totally diminishing. And there is gyro compensating lens and beam focuser to choose from. Those both performing about the same or just no muzzle. Similar performance. The regular one now, automatic laser rifle, as you can see, those are 42 mods, so seven more. They are basically the same capacitors, barrels, stocks, and those are the extra mods, sights. But most likely you will still run with a reflex sight, so in practice there is no difference into that. It's the same. Now important question, which one offer a higher DPS? Which one offer you the highest DPS? And here it's a little bit more tricky, because the damage per shot difference versus fire rate difference if we compare the plane weapons, and yes, I will shoot with them in a second. If we compare plainly the weapons, it evens out. The extra fire rate versus lower damage, it evens out. There is a scenario when this extra fire rate will pull ahead for automatic ultra sight laser rifle, and that's 
if we put quad on it. If you will be lucky to get one with quad, which greatly increases the amount of shots you will be able to fire, this fire rate will be way more beneficial than it is otherwise. Outside of the quad scenario, unfortunately, outside of the quad scenario, I cannot see how ultra sight laser rifle can pull ahead of laser rifle. Best you can have is the same DPS. With quad, it can pull ahead. So that's a little bit unfortunate. And now let's shoot with it a little bit and talk more. As well, in case this will not be enough of a showcase for you, I was running with those weapons much more on the last Twitch livestream. So you can see me using them for like an hour. And okay, let me drop the health to be in Nerd Rage. We want to be in Nerd Rage. I could try full health, but you don't want to see those weapons performing full health. It's kind of not a good sight to see. So that's a bloodied one. Regular one, as you can see. Red laser, that regular ultra sight. Not, not the ultra sight, that's the regular laser rifle. And they can pull some damage, as you can see with a bloodied build. Decent amount of shots, but look the biggest downside. It's not quad, so we need to reload it so often. Reload all the time. Now, the other one that we are looking for, Ultra Sight. A little bit different colors on the weapon. And faster fire rate. In exchange for lower damage per shot. So result is... We are killing with similar time, maybe a little bit faster, but then if you miss a couple of shots, you spend even more time reloading, as you need more ammo per kill. A little bit. The difference is not huge. It's like one extra shot to kill a super mutant with this weapon versus regular one. You do it faster. Like This is a very bizarre trade-off, in my opinion, as difference is so small, if you cannot tell. There is... You probably cannot tell because difference is so small. Yes, that's that's not a mistake. It's actually how it performs. So biggest difference is green versus red. Would you prefer green beam or would you prefer red beam? That's like the biggest difference here. I do enjoy the green beam more, so that's probably advantage. And now you can freely choose one or the other. But then we go into the biggest boomer at the end. Why would you even use it? As if you notice the range, it's not high, it's 100 range. What if you could just use a Tesla rifle that uses cheapest, uh, cheaper ammo as you don't need to modify it with Prime, perform better per single target and can hit multiple target, very versatile weapon. That's my biggest issue. What I would use ultra sight laser rifle at all what would be the purpose if there are better weapons in every category i can imagine than laser weapons themselves so if i'm missing something please let me know what is the use case where the ultra sight or even regular laser rifle performs the best I don't really see it, so it's still a niche weapon, a roleplay weapon, just for color of the beams. That seems to me to be the use case. And this is a little bit sad, as laser weapons supposed to be advanced. They cannot be used with stealth, as those are loud. So that's not an option. What am I missing? Let me know. And that being said, thank you all for watching. And see you all in the next one.